All my children looked exactly like my best friend. Sir, step aside. The first water with a happy dad. I suspected that our triplets were his. But my wife reassured me. Honey, you're overthinking. Me and Chad. <laughs> They're a copy of your grandmother. It's amazing how genes work. I felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. I wanted to have children so badly. The babies are very lucky to have such a daddy. The next day, Stacy gave me a nursing bra. <gasps> and went to the gym. You don't mind, do you? I want to get back in shape fast. Chad was her coach, but I wasn't jealous of him anymore. At least until I heard my wife moaning through the baby monitor. Come on, Stacy, come on. A little more. When she returned home all tired, yet suspiciously mm -hmm. happy, I demanded an explanation. That's how I sound during my workout. If you had spent at least a minute in the gym, you'd know how hard it is. I decided not to jump to conclusions and got myself a gym membership. Didn't you complain about having a weak heart your whole life? I was not going to conquer any Olympic podium. I just wanted to see if Chad would be an enthusiastic with me. <sighs> come on, come on, a little more. I heard the same words as on the baby monitor and calm down. That's it, buddy. I'm out. Where? We've just warmed up. Repeat after me. Chad accidentally exposed his lower back and I saw a birthmark, very similar to the what? one my children had. Don't be foolish. You have a successful business and three kids. Good health is a must. I decided to take a sample of Chad's DNA and have it tested. <laughs> My friend, let me explain it to you since you're a beginner. Everyone has their own bottle here. Still, I managed to get it on my second attempt. Do you like my hair? Take vitamins and yours will look the same. The test results revealed that the children I had <gasps> eagerly waited for were not mine. <sighs> My wife, however, swore she never cheated on me. Hmm, how is it that possible? You wanted kids so badly, but you weren't able to. So I convinced Chad to become a donor for artificial insemination. Stacy regretted doing it in secrecy and later came to me with a harmonizing proposal. Shall we try having another baby? 
one that will be biologically yours. Mm. For that, you have to keep working out. Deal? I had only one condition. Stacy needed to change coaches. Of course, I'll find another one. Our relationship is more important to me. My wife suggested celebrating our reconciliation at a new restaurant. They have only seafood on the menu. It's exactly what men need for their health. Will you book a table? I was there with a friend. The place is fantastic. Yet, while I was looking through the restaurant photos, I saw Stacy and Chad sitting at the table. With a friend, you say? I followed them and found out that the lovers met regularly. Not only that, but they were discussing a plan to take over my inheritance. Now that fool won't miss a single workout. Increase the fatso's training intensity so that his heart can take it. I pretended I didn't see or hear anything. When Stacy told me she was going to work out with a new coach, I acted as if I 100% believed her. What a convenient outfit for a training session. Meanwhile, I was hatching a revenge plan for those traders. Come on, five balls, do your thing. I needed Chad to move into our house. That's why I let mice into his place. Which he feared like fire. Oh! <laughs> hey, is our workout still on for today? I offered Chad to live with us during the extermination process. Are you okay with that? I mean, I'll be seeing Stacy. My wife and I have such a strong relationship that now nothing can spoil it. Stacy mocked the way I trusted her. Thinking that she was would have more fun with Chad, I have some business to take care of. I'll see you soon. Still, I knew for sure that it wouldn't happen. The children were constantly interrupting the lost for lovers. I can't do anything without all of this crying. Maybe you'll finally calm them down? If only I knew how. It's usually the fatso who takes care of them. Hmm? Hmm? Stacy unsuccessfully tried to get her lover's passion back. <gasps> Ew. Are these really aphrodisiacs? I guess one of the kids threw up on it when I turned my back. As expected, Chad couldn't handle it and decided to leave early. 
I'm going to a hotel. I need silence, otherwise I'll die before that fat so. That was the perfect moment to get my revenge. Why don't you take your mistress with you? I've already packed her suitcase. Hmm? Stacy knew how much I loved the children, so she threatened to take them with her. You won't do anything, because you have nothing to do with them. Did you really think I wanted to have kids with a monster like you? Stacy said <laughs> that she and Chad would be happy without my money. However, <gasps> I knew him better than her, which was mm -hmm. why I invited him to live with us. Well, no. Without any inheritance, I don't need these brats. When you <gasps> convinced me to help you get pregnant, I agreed. Mine is any further obligations. Fine. Let's go without the kids. Just you and me. I told Stacy that the triplets could stay with me while she looked for a place to live. Yeah, she never came back. I decided to raise the children. They're growing with love and care and never doubted who I am to them. Daddy! Daddy! Look what we can do! A father is not the one who brings a child into the world, but the one who raises them. <laughs>